Hello guys, welcome to welcome to one one of the tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Gundam head. So first, it's a base. It will be somewhere similar to the other seven day, but you can modify it and do whatever with it. So stop. So today's just a stand, so you can actually so I can actually build on it. So first of all, you want to you want to make make some some one of those cylinder and just do this do the classic cylinder cylinder sculpting it's gonna take a while but be patient watch uh, watch it all the way through I need I need subscribers let me and we'll just quickly do make a circle Now, now specifically for a Gundam head, you want to ro rotate this 90 degrees and do it this way, so so it actually looks good. And do a circle. Now I'll just delete the bottom Now select this, select this section Rotate it by 5 degrees And you're gonna have this Oh yeah I forgot to mention, you got If you want, want it to look good Just press 0.1 Scale one, one, and you're done. Let me just get rid of this. It's left over, and you're you're done. You just gotta set scale this by two, zero point two. And you got the base of the Gundam head. Now you sell. Now you get a get another block. Scale it all the way upwards. Now go 0 0.5. Copy these measurements. If you've seen my tutorial, support. You know what to do. Now select this. Duplicate it. Rotate by rotate by whatever degrees you want. It doesn't really matter. It depends on. But depending on the Gundam you're trying to make, yep. you got to do a little modification. Let's select both of these. Just go about down by 0 0.2. And you got the main thing. Now just do this four times. Or three times, make sure there's four angles for all, for all four, four walls, whatever. Zero point six. Now it's like zero point five. Scale them all to to the perfect corners. Don't forget to select, scale it by zero point five. Oops. Now, add a neon block. It's okay if you don't have the neon blocks, just use glass. And do it for the, same, for the other side too. Now make sure to match, match rotation and do the same thing. And you got the main. For my purposes, I'll, I'll just scale it by, I'll just move it by a few studs. 
Let's zero point five. Scale it backwards. Oops. And you're done. Actually, actually for this tutorial, just go it slightly backwards, and we'll continue. Now, assuming you got everything done, what what happened here? Now for the now for the side armor, you just gotta place another block. Get it, smooth it down. Just copy the steps, it's not that hard. Don't beg, don't cry in the comments. Now, you move it inwards by, by 0 0.5 blocks. 15 rotation again. 1, 2, 3. Pretty smooth. If you want, if you want to be extra smooth, just, just do the classical smoothing trick. Now to delete the front, you can now duplicate the f duplicate this. Scale it down. By the way, this tutorial only includes basic shaping, so basic shape of a Gundam so it doesn't include all the nitty gritty details like the, like those edges, corner filling and etc. Now select 0 0.5 and I could just get rid of this frame now I'm gonna just paint it, paint it gray so you can actually see what's going on in here. And there you go. It's the helmet. Now for the fear thing, fee thing, you just got you just got to place a block, rotate it by f fifty degrees, fifty degrees, scale it back down, zero point two five. This is stupid. Do a little smoothing. Uh oh. It's not exactly smooth. Again, you can just do it yourself. Five. I will paint it red for this, for this, for video purposes. Now, now you place, place a block on the three fin. Scare it down and do it to the other side. Rotate it by. Fifty degrees. Ten degrees. Zero point five going upwards. There, there, there. Now select all, now select all of this. 
move it that backwards by one, two, and make sure you select this one and scale, rotate it by two more. Scale, move it upwards two by two, two five. Now do the same for the other one. Now you got the fifth thief in, now you just got a fill. Now you just got to fill this in, pretty easy. Piece, easy piecey stuff. And you, and you're done for a head. Helmet. Oops, I overlooked a little something, I was gonna be with it low. Like, yes. For its aesthetic purposes, I'm gonna move, move, move the front forwards and scale it by scale this for 0 0.5. And you got a decent Gundam head. This for, for, for video in purpose, so let's paint it, paint it this. Now, you guys, for, if you want to look at this, you guys just got to sell, scale it by 0 0.5 inward. And we're going to make the, make the face. Okay, let's begin with the face. It's gonna be a little bit more complicated than than the helmet, but I think you can manage it. If you, I think you'll be skilled enough to manage it. First, you select select this block, scale it. But about this, make sure it's for the fourth the size of the actual or uh, actual face plate. Now select this, duplicate Uh oh. Let me just do it again. One, two, three. You get my point here, just make a triangle. Just make a delta. Now you select this, duplicate. Now you just select, select this, just follow what I'm doing, duplicate, if you, if you can't follow, just slow it down, if you, if you can't slow it down, just read, or whatever, I say no, have I, don't have I, I any idea how to help you, if you can't read. Just fill this in. Select this port. Make sure align it with the 
align it with the face to the other side. So it's one zero point zero five. Rotate by rotate to so it's facing the other way. That's so like fifteen. Rotate both of them. Zero point five for both. Now all you need to do is just go it in, and you got a decent Gundam head, a Gundam faceplate. Now you just go up, press this, rotate it by Now, I kind of messed up here, so so let me just show you, just in case you you learn how to you're learning how to make a Gundam head yourself and you mess up how how to fix it. Now just you can just shorten it like this. And select it. You can just modify it whatever you want. I don't care. Just giving you the basis, not not the full thing. And take make then note this: you don't have you don't have to actually show you don't have to detail this entire face plate up. It's most of it has to be hidden hidden by the helmet. So kind of just gonna ignore this. I'm just gonna move it backwards, inward, whatever. I mean, if you're making the RS78, you might want to detail. I might want to add some more corners to the faceplate, but for my purposes, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Paint this red and the face plate. And here you go, you got a face plate. Now you just gotta select up. You could just select oh. You could just do adjustments, make it look nicer I guess. Whatever with it. Oh, for this specific specific version, I'll add. I'll add a bit. The the fence. The fence just to make it look decent, I guess. Now for the eyes, you just got, you just got. First of all, I forgot one one step that 
and uh, that's adding the red part of the faceplate. Don't worry, it's easily fixable, just, just duplicate, paint it red, and select the and select the, the base and move it by whatever. For me, I will go silver too. Move the face itself downward. Step, the eyes, the eyes. How do oh how do I do a stupid eyes or something? How do how do I do do Gundam eyes? How do I make it how do I make it blank? How do I make it whatever? Okay, okay, I'll show you. Fine. I'll finally show you today. So you you measure how you measure how how deep your eyes you want the eyes to go and select this and put ten ten point three let's delete the original one now you will first of all you wanna make an eye model. For me I'll just do it. Uh oh, kinda of messed up over there. Just this is the S this how, estimating how where your eyes is you want to want to be precise where you want to position your position your eyes in just double ch if you're not sure just double check if it works to see if it works well or not for my case it isn't so I just select both of them Ah, uh, Chofu, when you gonna add the, when you gonna make, make it so that we can actually t select our stuff? 2.1 Just make sure, make sure you're in, it's in perfect position and you're happy with where it's, where it's placed. Now, you just got, assuming you, you're basically, you're decent at shaping, you just go up in. You just go place blocks around it. Get rid of this, you don't need it anymore. I think I made a little oopsies. Now, just in case, just make sure, make sure your eyes are in place.
Oh my god, stop lagging. In case, in my case, yes, it is in position. Now you just go select one side, rotate it by five degrees, and select the other side, rotate it by five degrees again. Now, for mechanical parts, just place a single, single neon block. So, put it in position so it shows through the eyes, but but doesn't go over it like like this. Now select. Now place another. Now place another block. It's right behind it, but make sure it doesn't touch. Now just scale it. Scale it the same size. Doesn't have to be. Just co make sure it covers the eyes. No place. The piston. Wait. Now move it by two blocks. Pa place a piston. Here. Now move it backwards. Select it. Length two. Place another block and move it, <coughs> move it downward. Move the piston itself downward by 0 0.5. And do a little adjustment, and you'll be done done with the face, I guess. Now all you need to do is place another piston, move it. Move it, click it and move it. And pro do a little programming. Move it downwards twice. And you're done. Now just now just do the basic steps. Trans make all of the pestilent transparent. Just paint, paint the eyes black, of course. And you're Got finished Gundam head. Congratulations. Oops. Just in case it doesn't connect, in in case it perfectly missed, just place a, any block make, and make sure it connects, and you're done. So it's 90, 99 blocks in total. Two pi two servos, with two pistons. And two switches. Uh, don't forget to add this. Now, for, for final testing, you just duplicate it, make sure everything works. Yeah, it works. Pretty sure there's an issue here. Yep. I might look up the sound. Okay. 
Now all you need to do is... Now for the last step, you just select... For the last step, just select, select all of these, move it by one, st one block. And you're done. Just select, duplicate it, duplicate it. Make sure you got, you got this, you got a block. Place on the piston, and you make all of this invisible. Now you're good for testing. For t to see if it works. Uh oh. Sorry, my mistake. Just. Just move this by s s one block, zero point one, and you're good to go. Good, you're good to go. Finally, just make sure you you add it, you add it up, you add it something to say to put the keep the black piece in p place. Now just duplicate. I'm gonna just duplicate to do a final testing. I mean, it works. Just I just accidentally de accidentally did a little mistake and make made a black piece invisible. But you're, you're still done. You're still the, you're still finished. Look, and you can make customize it, modify, modify the head, do whatever. And that's for the end of end of the video. Adios.